and 100 members of the United State, uh, State Senate, there is one president. Thank you. Justice Kagan? So, Mr. Secretary, you've said that a number of times and made the point, which we have made, that presidents can't be treated just like an ordinary citizen. But it's also true, and indeed a fundamental precept of our constitutional order, that a president isn't above the law. Uh, you know, from our first days, Chief Justice Marshall told Thomas Jefferson that he could be subpoenaed, he could be examined as a witness, he could be required to produce papers. And so I guess going back to Justice Breyer's question, why isn't the way to deal with these two things, that the president is special, but that the president is like an ordinary citizen in that he's subject to law, is to say the president can make these usual objections that a subpoena recipient can make about harassment or about burden. And the court, in reviewing those, of course, should take seriously the president's objections and treat those with a certain kind of sensitivity and respect uh, due to somebody who is a branch of government. Why isn't that the right way to do it? For two reasons. First, and I think the case here is the perfect example, here the district attorney copied verbatim the House Oversight Committee and Ways and Means Committee subpoena verbatim. So, and, and we were just discussing in the previous case the nature of that burden. For counsel, the president hiring counsel, for each time he could be subpoenaed as a witness or in this particular case as a target, would raise a serious impact on the president's Article II functions. So we think a categorical approach, and it's very specific here, state process as to the president uh, targeting the president's documents in a criminal proceeding should be prohibited. Justice Gorsuch? Counsel, I'd, I'd like to return uh, to the question of Clinton versus Jones and how you would have us distinguish it. Uh, yes, it took place in federal court, but it was a civil case, and uh, as has been pointed out, uh, others there could have been multiple versions of that in multiple different districts across the country. Um, so what's what's different about that? How do we avoid the conclusion there that uh, the president wasn't uh, subject to some special immunity, but here is? I think uh, I think the nature of the case that we're dealing with here is. Not in a We're leaving briefly to fulfill our longtime commitment to live U.S. House coverage. You can continue watching the Supreme Court at